Okay, hello. Uh, welcome to my hammer tutorial. A hammer is very simple. You basically just smack them onto deal a ton of damage. The main damage combo is Big Bang, where you just right click, and if you land the prior attack, you can right click again to do the second one. So you do number one, you land that number two, and then if you land that number three, but I apparently cannot do it. There. So there's five total. The final hit is the most damaging, so that's when you always want to land, but only do it on opportunities where you can definitely pull it all off because the monster will move out of the way. And you have to land each hit to be able to pull the final one off. Now you can power charge your hammer to deal extra damage and different attacks. To do that you just press your charge button, which for me is mouse button 4, for most people we control. You just hold that down and you right click to power charge. You'll notice your hammer glows, that means it's charged. If you get flinched out of something, then it'll become uncharged, so I quickly get hit by this. See, it's not, like, coloured anymore, it means it's not charged. Now, when charging up your hammer like this, instead of power charging it, there's three different attacks you can do. So, first one is after one charge, where you just do a side blow. The next one is an uppercut. And the last one is while you're inputting a direction key, you spin around like so. But if you do the last the third charge while standing still, then you do the final hit of the big bang, but without the first four. So the whole combo overall does less damage if you do that, but you get the final hit off, so it's good if you only have small opportunities. After performing attack uh, this attack as well, you can actually press your slinger shot, so for me that's T, and it will launch out a clutch claw attack, and then you go spinning up onto the monster if your hammer's charged and stuff. However, after Big Bang you cannot do that. Uh, next there is the slope, it's a hammer you can charge, and if you're charging you can slide down the slope, you can left click to do a power attack into the sky and slams down. And if you don't click anything and you just release the charge, then it does a big spinning mid-air thing with a very powerful hit at the end. So that's also good. You can also perform stack up the wall, as shown here. And then finally, the best thing to do with hammer, uh, the jumping attacks. So the jumping attack actually, when you start charging, you get momentum from it. So if you jump off a ledge and you do that, you jump further away instead of just jumping normally. Or you can actually use it to get back onto the ledge. So if you jump off and then use the momentum that it gives you uh, to get back onto it as like that. And that can, because it's a very powerful attack, you can use that to repeatedly hit the monster quickly. And people call this aerial hammer because you're in the air most of the time. Uh, it does a lot of damage, attacks very fast, and I would very much recommend it. Um, the more advanced version of this is if the monster's away from it. You jump off, come back, and then you turn around as you hit. So to perform this, you just roll off the ledge, which is input the direction key towards the ledge. Depending on where your camera is, it'll be different, and your roll button, which is usually space. So in this situation here, it's W and space and then just hold charge while holding the opposite direction key to the one you originally pressed. And if you're going just back onto the ledge, like this, then you just release when you get over it. If you're doing the other way, where it's off the ledge, you roll forwards, come back, and just before you release, you press back the forwards key that you used to roll. Um, other than that, I think that's basically everything. Ah, the spin. The spinning bludgeon like this isn't the best attack, so I wouldn't recommend doing it all the time, but just in case you do accidentally do it. The first one, uh, the spin, basically there's different levels. So after a couple swings you're spinning side smash, and so spinning side smash, like that. Then the spinning follow up where you do like a return hit like that. And then finally there's the strong upswing where you... So I say generally avoid that, 
With the spinning bludgeon attack, you actually hit it seven times. If you count the amount of hits you have done, then you'll know when to upswing it. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and then up. If you wait until the full seven, then you'll just flop over and it takes long to recover from. So if I show you here. Yeah, you sort of flop and it takes ages to recover from. So I'd not recommend that. And then there's a sort of left click combo where you just overhead to smash twice and then you do a strong upswing. Which can be used to go straight into Big Bang after. So it's good if the monster's like going down. Because the first two don't require well the left click combo doesn't require you to land on the monster, but the Big Bang obviously does. <sighs> other than that I think it's everything. Ah, if you do the so there's the charge brute uh, charge brutal big bang that which is when you have your hammer power charged and you three charge up and release if you don't three charge it up then it looks like this so power charging the hammer makes your attacks go from normal to brutal and that is basically everything you need to hammer the main attacks I suggest is the spinning one big bang ledge ones and the power like big brutal bang yeah, charge big brutal bang